Well, winter is almost here. And for full-time RVers and van dwellers like me, that means we need to get really creative and really smart about how we keep warm living in an RV in the winter time. Not everybody can travel to the south. And sometimes we're en route, you know. Sometimes we have the best intentions of being in the south and being in the desert before the cold weather hits, but sometimes we just get caught up in cold weather. It's just a fact of life when you live on tires. <laughs> so today I'm going to tell you about something new that I've added to my winter RV life to help me stay warm. And it's something super cool that I'm really excited about. So stay tuned. I'm going to tell you all about it. Okay, so before we get to my newest winter RV living tip, calendars are available. The, yeah, a lot of you have been asking me if we're doing calendars again this year, and we are, and they're available now for pre-order. So the Carolyn's RV Life Adventure Calendar 2023 is now available for a pre-sale amount of $21.99. So you're going to save $3 if you hurry up and order now before or November 30th. After that, the price goes up to $24.99. Both of these prices include shipping and handling, so that's it. It's just all inclusive. You get a really high quality calendar. You get at least 15 or 16 pictures that I handpicked myself that I think you're going to enjoy some memories of my travels throughout the years. And you're gonna don't have to pay for an envelope. You don't have to pay for postage. You don't have to pay for us to package it. We're doing all of that for you. So it's a one in 300, you know, you're gonna have something very unique. You know, some people already are like, I can get it at Costco cheaper. That's fine, you can get a calendar at Costco cheaper, but it's one in a million. Uh, you know, there's a million big print runs, but this is a good way to support my channel and to support me as an independent creator and to get something a little bit more unique than, you know, what the masses, millions of people have. So click the link in the video description below to go to my website buy your calendar today on pre-order and save three dollars this also helps me kind of get an idea of how many we need to order because they're not print on demand so go order now and we'll be we'll be shipping them like the third week of or hopefully the second week of december through the first or second week of november depending on how quickly we can get them printed and in our hands okay so check out the video uh, description below for a link and get your pre-order in today also do me one more favor make sure you subscribe to my channel double check below you youtube subscribes people all the time so even if you think you're subscribed to my channel do me a favor and just check that click that subscription button it really helps me out all right so you ready to hear about the newest addition to my winter rv life let's go inside and get started Okay, so anybody who lives in an RV or a van knows that it's nearly impossible to skip cold weather, especially with weather changing as much as it is. You're going to run into cold nights. You're going to run into cold days. Even 40 degrees or 50 degrees outside can be really cold inside your RV. And yes, RVs do come with furnaces, so I could absolutely run my furnace. You might remember in Matilda, my furnace didn't work, and so I was using a uh, Heater Buddy, and I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check out the Heater Buddy video. But my furnace works just fine now, but because I have a minimal amount of solar and battery power, I don't necessarily always have the battery power to consistently run the furnace enough to keep it warm in here. And it's a lot of propane and it heats up the whole interior of my RV. And it's kind of a waste in my opinion. If I'm just sitting here watching TV or just sitting here working, my furnace is running to heat my bathroom, to heat it back there. So I bought this two-in-one ceramic space heater. It's only a thousand watts. And especially if you're plugged in, I just think this is a much more efficient heater. It runs by electricity. You're not using propane. If you're plugged in, you can use your regular 110, 120 outlets, and you can run it on regular shore power. And what I like is that the, my Ops battery is a great way to run my little extras that I can't necessarily run after dark, or I can, but they would deplete my house batteries. So the Ops battery, which has up to 10 different outlets, so I can run this I can I can charge my phones I can charge a laptop but it'll run this for several hours 
So, you know, heaters do take a lot of power. So I love having one of these solar generators and backup batteries in my RV. It's really helpful this time of year, even more so than it is in the summer because the days are shorter and I'm traveling east. So I've got a lot of tree cover and clouds. So my uh, house batteries aren't lasting, you know, throughout the night, you know, like after it gets dark. So it's nice to have this Ops on board as a backup to run my electronics. Check the video description below to save 10% on an Ops solar generator using my discount code. So, you know, heaters do take a lot of power, but on a single Ops charge, I can run this for a few hours and charge all my other ele electronics. So this is a thousand watts. It's only $19. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description and I can set it on the floor right in front of me while I'm working, while I'm watching TV and it keeps me warm, almost too warm sometimes. So I don't have to leave it on all the time. It's got two different settings. It's got a low setting and a high setting. It's got a built-in fan, so it blows the heat out at you. It also has a third setting, which is just a fan, so you can use it as a fan in the summer without the heat. I don't know. For me, this is a really nice, more concentrated heat source so that it blows directly on me. You can put it under your desk. You can put it on your table, and it's going to be right there keeping you warm. I don't know, anybody who lives in an RV, let me know. You run your furnace and it's really, really hard to stay warm, especially once the temperatures get below like 20 degrees. All right, so check the video uh, description below for a link to get this on Amazon using my affiliate link. Also get, uh, check the video description below for the winterizing videos that I have done, the one about the heater buddy and all the other simple, easy, cheap things you can do to insulate the inside of your RV, my infamous blanket video. I'll put all the links to those in the video description below. Don't forget to check out the calendar. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. By the way, they didn't sponsor me. This is just something cool I found. We'll figure it out when we get there. Sadie's getting lovin'.